You are welcome to another video of the course of 5 Big IPLTM. In this section, I'm going to discuss and configure active active high availability in F5 Big IP devices. In this method, different Big IP devices are active for different applications, but at the same time, all Big IP devices are forwarding and processing traffic. This is the topology we already used to implement Active Standby HA. There are some changes that make them ready to implement Active Active High Availability. Two Big IP devices named Big IP 1 and Big IP 2 are connected to four networks internal with the subnet 10.0.24, external with the subnet 20.24, management with the subnet 10.24, and finally. HA with the subnet 20/24. The IP address of Big IP 1 is 181, and the IP address of Big IP 2 is 182 in all four networks. To implement active active HA configuration, we need at least two applications to be implemented in Big IP devices. In the first application, Big IP 1 is the active device and Big IP 2 is the standby device and in the second application vice versa Big IP 2 is the active device and Big IP 1 is the standby device Here I'm using servers with the IP address 10.111 and 10.112 for the first application with HTTP service and servers with IP address 113 for the second application with SSH service. Note that the gateway of the servers with the first applications is 10.1, but the gateway of servers in the second application is 10.2. I will explain the reason behind that shortly. In the real scenario, it is also possible to locate different applications in different subnets with each gateway located in its own corresponding subnet. Active active configuration also requires that you configure at least two traffic groups. In traffic group one, which is created automatically in the previous section in active standby configuration, big IP1 is the active device and big IP2 is the standby device. For traffic group two, which needs to be added in this section. It is the other way around. Big IP 1 is the standby and Big IP 2 is the active device. We also need to configure two different virtual server in Big IP devices, one for the first application and one for the second application. It is important to assign the first virtual server to one traffic group and the second virtual server to the other traffic group. We will create app one virtual server with the IP address 2.101 and app 2 virtual server with the IP address 2.102 app 1 virtual server will be assigned to the traffic group 1 and app 2 virtual server will be assigned to the traffic group 2 for each traffic group we also need a dedicated floating IP address on each data interface that will be used to route traffic through the active big IP devices. The IP address 192.168.10.1 and 2.11 will be configured in traffic group 1 on the internal and external networks and in traffic group 2 the IP addresses 10.2 and 2.12 will be configured for internal and external network for this reason the gateway of the servers belonging to traffic group 1 is configured 10 1 which is assigned to the traffic group 1 and gateway of the servers in the second application is configured 10 2 which is assigned to the traffic group 2 to start implementing active active ha configuration in the first step we have to configure two traffic groups in the section device management and traffic group the first traffic group is automatically created in the active assembly configuration in the traffic group one we 
give big IP one as the first priority and big IP two as the second priority failover using preferred device order and then load ever and then save then we create a second traffic group with the name of traffic group 2 which the priority is the opposite then create traffic group 2 and the priority big IP 2 has the first priority and big IP 1 has the second priority and then create traffic group now two traffic groups are created in the first one big ip 2 is active and big ip 1 is a standby in the second is opposite big ip 1 is active and big ip 2 is a standby which is still not initialized then for each traffic group and data interface we create a dedicated floating ip address which will be used to route traffic through active big ip device according to the design in the section self ip ip address 10 1 and 2 11 assigned to the traffic group 1 which has to which has to be changed here delete and then for the external interface for traffic group 2 the IP address 211 in the external interface and traffic group 1 and finish and the subnet mask s 24 and the, for the second traffic group 10 2 and 2 to 11 floating IP address will be assigned to the traffic group 2 192 168 10 2 with a mask slash 24 and for the internal but for the second traffic group and repeat 192 168 2 to 11 for the external but the second traffic group and finish so in the traffic group 1 10 1 and for the external interface in traffic group 1 to 11 is configured as we have designed here and for the second traffic group 10 2 and 2 12 to 12 and 10 2 for the internal and external interfaces in traffic group 2 are configured we must not forget to configure the gateway ip address of the servers behind big ip to the corresponding floating ip address i've already configured the ip the gateway ip address of the servers 1 and server 2 belonging to the first application to 10 1 and the gateway IP address of server 3 belonging to the second application to 10 2 which are floating IP address of the internal interface in traffic group 2 traffic group 1 and traffic group 2 let's check and make sure that they are correctly configured in the server 1 10 1 is the gateway IP address as we can see in the server 2 10 1 is configured as the ip address as the gateway ip address and in server 3 10 2 is configured as the gateway ip address all the changes are configured in only one big ip device and will be synchronized to the other device up to now all the configurations are done in the big ip one so i will synchronize to the big ip two from big ip1 to big ip2 and now they are synchronized to create application services on f5 big ip 
device which is the next step we first create seven nodes including all three nodes in the local traffic section and nodes and server one with the IP address 10 111 and repeat 112 for server 2 repeat and server 3 113 and finished now we have three servers server 1 2 and 3 with the IP address 10 111 12 and 13 then we create two pools one for HTTP service including the first two servers and one for SSH service including the third server so in the section pool we create HTTP HTTP underline pool with the monitoring TCP and not list the first two HTTP add and the second server add and repeat and for the SSH underline pool we add server 3 the third node but with the service SSH add and finished now we have two pools HTTP pool and SSH pool the members of the HTTP pools are two first servers which are green and the members of the SSH pool is the third server which is also green and finally we create two virtual application services one with the IP address 2101 including HTTP pool and the other with the IP address 2102 including SSH pool in the section virtual servers app 1 underline virtual underline server and for the destination 2101 with the service HTTP and pool The, sec and the first HTTP pool and repeat for the second application up to virtual server with the IP address 2102 with the service SSH and pool the second pool SSH pool and finished and now there are two application services are created as we have designed in the topology 2101 with the service HTTP 2102 with the service SSH to ensure that traffic from one application goes through the first big IP device and traffic from the second application goes through the second big IP device we assign the virtual server app 1 to traffic group 1 and virtual server app 2 to traffic group 2 through the virtual server and virtual, uh, virtual address list in 2101 is already assigned to traffic group 1 and 2102 we will assign to traffic group 2 and so two applications now are assigned to different traffic groups now f5 active active ha configuration is completed and ready to be tested i want to make sure that traffic to the first application goes over a big ip and traffic to the second application goes over other big ip we create two connections with two applications one to the ip address 2101 with the port 80 and the second with the IP address 2102 with the port SSH let's open and also open VMware VMware and then we check the active connections in the big IP devices to ensure that they are working properly as expected 
in the first show cis connections and then grep 22 there is here and at should not be here but in the big ip2 in the opposite side show cis connection for grep 22 does not exist but for the port 80 must exist let's create the connection again here it does not exist I forget to apply the configuration to the second big IP device that's not uh, still synchronized so first I have to synchronize the configuration and then I can check now it's working and I will try again to the connections and here I can again check the connection to port 80 port 80 is in this device and port 22 check again 22 is not here but 22 must be in this section you see the port connection the connection to port 22 is the big ip1 and connection to port 80 should be in other device 80 is not here 80 but here 22 is not here in the other device but this the connection port 22 so traffic from one application goes through one big IP device and traffic from the second application is forwarded through the other big IP device.